So this is the common fiber material we want to make the DJS controllers out of. And the carbon fiber is a very interesting material. It's a lightweight material, very stable. Not like that, if you put it together with the resin, it gets an enormous stability and is very lightweight. The carbon fiber itself is uh, the same material like diamond, but the diamond is uh, pressed in between stones for a long, long time. It makes it a little bit different, but chemically it's the same uh, material. I tried to sit on it for a long time, but I'm not heavy enough, so no diamonds out <laughs> of my ass. <laughs> what you see over here is a, a prosthetic socket that we made out of carbon fiber. Uh, there you see the carbon fiber in the resin, black material and then translucent uh, resin. And it's a very thin wall that we create, but you see when we make it for prosthesis, there must be a lot of stability in the material. And uh, the reason why we take it is the lightweight, because uh, the patients don't want to carry around too much of weight when they lost it. So this is a two component socket. We have a soft inner material that makes it comfortable for the patient, for example, when he's bending for sitting. But also we have to take the body weight and this is the reason why we need a lot of stability, the reason we take the carbon fiber. And you see over here it's a very thin material. When you compare it with the old wooden uh, prosthetic sockets, it's, uh, you, you cannot really compare it yeah. because it's real high-tech material. So this is the resin that we use. Uh, and only the mixture of the carbon fiber and the resin give the stability. So if we leave the carbon fiber like that, it's not stable, it's nothing. But if you put it together with the resin, that's the stability you create. How long does it? How long does the resin take to to set? Um, it takes about half an hour, depending on the really? temperature. Wow! Okay. You have to put a vacuum on mold, put the resin slowly into the carbon fiber so that no air is coming in. And then uh, it's, it's, uh, the reaction of the resin takes about 30 minutes, depending on the temperature and of the amount of hardener you put inside. And that, boys and girls, is how you make a VHS controller.